and I am so excited for this video today because it is a little bit different than the normal ones and it's gonna be a fun cozy chill day in my life in quarantine so my county has officially locked down um meaning we are not supposed to go outside of our houses except for like certain exceptions but I haven't been going anywhere here um, um, I'm very thankful to be able to have my internship and do my internship from home and work online so that's what I've been doing and I've been doing that for like the past week and a half so I've been I've been in the house for a while now um, of course I take walks and bike rides and stuff around the neighborhood staying away from people but um, because I've been working or doing homework I haven't really gotten like a chill day to do all of the cutesy things that I just want to do at home so today is that day and we are going to help my mom paint some walls which is always a fun time we are going to pot some new plants I got um we have a big mosquito problem outside of our house so we bought some lavender um like lavender seeds and that's just gonna be like my little project just to like watch them grow and then hopefully deter some of the mosquitoes so that's gonna be fun i also got some baby's breath i think it's gonna be precious and a fun little projects so we're gonna pot some plants paint some stuff read some books do some graphic design projects um do a little bit of homework <laughs> but yeah, it's just gonna be a fun day and i want to take you guys along with it so i'm gonna go ahead and make my list for the day of everything i want to do and we're just gonna go ahead and have some fun also if you guys have been watching my videos for a little while now during my target haul the springtime target haul that i posted i want to say a couple videos ago i showed you guys this beautiful love grows here pot that i got from the target dollar spot or spot spot whatever they call it now and it's just kind of been sitting here but i recently got this beautiful ivy plant and it makes me so happy to look at it every single time i lay my eyes on it so this is my child now and she will be in the background of my videos and I think it just perfects the space. So you can't tell I'm very excited about it. So I'm very excited to plant some more plants. But yeah, let's get to it. So this is gonna be my little outfit of the day. So I know everybody recommends for like max productivity at home, get dressed like you would any other day. And that's just not for me. <laughs> I will not wear jeans in my own home. I think I'm gonna make it a rule in the future. But um, today I am gonna be wearing these. So I just changed out of these super cute um, pink and white striped pajamas. These I got from Target. Um, and I, I adore them. I absolutely adore them. I love them. They are so soft. They're not satin or anything like that. They're pretty, pretty much, they're just like, what are they made out of? Doo -doo -doo. Spandex and Modell, whatever that is. But it is really comfy and they're super soft and I, they're like my favorite pajamas, hands down. And I got those from Target and they have them in a bunch of different colors too. But I didn't want to stay in that all day because obvious reasons, I don't just want to hop in bed. So I did want to change. So today I'm just wearing these orange leggings and then this pink crop top, primarily because I'm going to be doing some potentially messy things today with like dirt and paint. And I'm not so much concerned about anything getting on the pants, but I am about like my shirt or like paint falling on the shirt and I really don't care for this shirt too much like I don't mind wearing it at home but I'm just never really comfortable wearing this outside of my house so honestly if it get paints on if it gets paint on it I'm really not going to be devastated at all so I'm just going to wear this little outfit today and I don't know I'm kind of feeling cute in it to be honest also I wore this outfit on my um Washington DC vlog and my family pointed out that if I had short hair, I would look just like Dora because I was wearing this outfit with white sneakers and like a, a backpack on. And I'm just like, you know what? I cut my hair. So if Dora's who I am, Dora's who I am. But yeah, so I, I made that into reality. Just call me Dora. But anyways, yes, let's go ahead. And I think we're doing painting first. So let's go ahead and get to painting. Okay, you guys. So uh, first thing up is painting and I have my gloves on. And if you're new to my channel, then you do not know, but we just moved into this house and whoever lived here before really loved this orange color that they have on the walls because it's in the inside and outside. So we are getting rid of it today and we've been calling it Cheeto dust because we do not like it at all. And so we're getting rid of the Cheeto dust and making it into this gray color. So we're gonna get to painting and I will show you guys when we're all done. Okay, you guys, 
so we have painted a rather large bit um and then we've got some in fat wall too but we are running out of paint which is a fun predicament to be in so we're going to switch over from painting to planting okay you guys so we finished painting for today um we couldn't really get the whole thing finished because we ran out of paint but we got a really good bit done um and it looks a lot better and brighter already as opposed to the cheeto dust color that you now see outside but okay so now i'm in my garage and opened the garage door a little bit to get some sunlight while we're at it um i wanted to do this outside because i didn't want to get dirt all over my house obviously but um when we went to Walmart to get groceries and stuff to prepare for like the lockdown and everything, um, figured I'd pick up pick up a couple of things to make this a happy time. So we got some lavender and then baby's breath. And I don't really know, I didn't really have a reason for picking this up other than I just love baby's breath and I think it's really, really pretty to look at. So we got those two. And then this one was specifically because, well one, it's pretty and two, it's supposed to help with mosquito repellent. So we're open for that today. Um, but we have got these seven pot seed starters. We've got these two guys over here, which I actually want to spray paint them gold. I think that would be really pretty. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to spray paint. I don't think I'm going to use these today at all. Actually, I think I'm going to save these until those seed starters get a little bit bigger. And then for right now, I'm just going to hold off on these and then maybe spray paint them a little bit later, but maybe gold spray paint or white or something like that. So. Of course I could have just bought them colored, but these were the only ones they had and they were cheap. So we got the cheap ones, but okay. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and pop some soil and some seeds into these things and hope that I've got a green thumb. <laughs> Okay, you guys so we are back inside now and when we bought these seeds we bought plant food with them that you just like pour into a gallon of water but we didn't buy a pitcher to pour water out of so we don't have that but um during i want to say the end of january early february i went to target and i found this beautiful beautiful pitcher um not i'm sorry a watering can that's what i meant i found a pitcher at target that was absolutely beautiful but I had no use for it, but I was like, I need it anyways. And I didn't use it at all during Valentine's Day season, but I have found the perfect use right now. And it is so cute. It is glass and it has all of these little glass hearts on it. I really hope you can see it. I hope that that helped. <laughs> but it has all these really pretty glass hearts all over it. And so I'm just going to use this to water my plants for right now. Hope I don't overwater them and kill them. So here's, cheers. But I'm going to take, so, this is like the um, plant food and you're supposed to put like a whole packet per gallon but this is definitely not a gallon so I'm gonna have to use some math here. Be right back. Okay, you guys, so sorry for the noise that you're hearing in the background. We are cleaning up the mess that we just made, but all the painting is done and all the potting is done. And um, we actually ended up planting some more seeds than we thought we were going to. We found some lemon and green pepper and tomato um, and strawberry seeds. So we really went all out with the planting today. Um, so who knows, will they grow? I don't know, I gotta speak some life over them. And I've always wanted that Watch Me Grow t-shirt from Kristen John's, um, what is it called? Kristen Made Collection. I've been, love, I love that t-shirt. So I think now is the time that I need to buy it for myself now that I have all of these plant babies. But yes, from where they're seated in our patio, I can see them kept in the sun through my bedroom window. So that's pretty fun. But 
now what I'm gonna do is uh, chill for a second. <laughs> it's really hot outside, so I'm gonna chill for a bit, drink some water because I'm parched, um, clean my makeup brushes, and then go on with everything else on my list, but that is what's up next. But I wanted to sit down with you guys and just tell you guys some happy things for a second because on my Instagram story, I posted this. I'll just put it over here. I posted um, this on my Instagram story saying, let's talk silver linings. What good such happy things have you experienced out of the changes lately? Trying to look past inconveniences and darkness and share what areas you're experiencing joy in right now. So I just kind of wanted to hear people's stories of like how this has what good things have come out of like being like stuck at home or I don't know just there's a lot of like negative things that you could focus on but I just kind of wanted to hear people's stories of light and seeing how God is moving in their lives so the responses were really really great and so I just wanted to share them with you guys to see if I don't know if they're positive and I feel like it'll make you happy so I'm gonna share but let us see okay so da -da -da. first one more time to paint always a good thing um, spending more time on what I love and enjoying the time of rest with like the little whoop whoop emoji. And then I love all the positive environmental changes that are happening due to less pollution. Okay, I have been loving all these pictures that I've been seeing of like the canals in Venice and things like that that are just clearing up because we've just been moving around less. And I just think that is a happy thing, seeing how it's affecting our environment. So that's pretty cool. Um, more time with family. I finally started my internship at my church, started it a couple of days ago, and that's awesome. I got to FaceTime my high school friend who I haven't talked to in forever so refreshing somebody else said I've baked so many so I've baked so many cookies and that is so fun like yes I need more cookies in my life right now um, I'm starting to see more people come together and encourage others through the Lord love that I've had more time to become closer to God and do daily devotions that I've seen that happen for a lot of people and that's definitely something for me too like I've been more consistent in it every day and so I think heck if anything come out of it that's the best thing um spending quality time daily with the people in my quarantine circle love that it's been restoring exclamation point exclamation point i have gotten to catch up on the fun projects i didn't have time for which is also so great i began some healthy habits like stretching every morning and taking walks so helpful love that spending more time to focus on self-care more baking more cooking um one of my friends said that her um, fiance is teaching her how to play xbox so that's a positive thing and then another one of my friends spent sending spending more time with sammy which is her dog for sure baby is getting old so these are just some happy little things that i wanted to share with you guys and i hope that it encourages you just to look at um where in your life i know it's very easy to get distracted by all the chaotic things happening but where in your life can you find some joy and what areas in your life Life, can you see how God is moving and making time for things that you probably wouldn't have been had had life been going on as normal um whatever normal is for us you know so yeah I think for me like I think this has been a really good time of just like like I said like I've definitely been able to have consistent quiet time every day read my bible every day I finished one of the books that I've been reading um, I'm about to start another one it's called redeeming I have it on my bed it's called redeeming love by Francine Rivers and it is um a, I believe it's a Christian book that a lot of people have been recommending to me and it's a fiction book um actually it's fiction but it might be based on a true story I'm not sure I'll tell you more about it later I'm gonna do like a little um Christian book recommendations video eventually when I read some more so but I'm gonna read some more read my bible a lot more talk to the lord a lot more I'm about to plant, I'm about to plant a plant <laughs> that is awesome to me I'm so excited that that's there um I've just been really keen on like really doing everything on my to-do lists. Um, I, I wash my car, just like things like that. And I've been loving going on bike rides every day. We're gonna go on a bike ride a little bit later and I will take you guys along. But it's just these things that have been really, really awesome. And just more time with family. And I mean, the only thing that sucks about this whole thing is that I haven't been able to see Robert and that sucks. But we will make it through. So if anything, it'll just make our dates a lot sweeter when we see each other after. But yeah, so just wanted to plant that little seed of happiness to get you thinking about what happy things are happening today or right now. So I rambled about that for a little bit, but yeah, so we're gonna go clean those makeup brushes and get on with our day. Okay guys, so I have just sanitized all of my makeup products. 
I feel like whenever I see people clean their makeup brushes, I only see them ever clean like the bristles, but never actually like the holder. Like what if you're sick and then you touch it and now it's gross. So I sanitized everything. Now it's time to actually clean through the bristles. And I use just baby shampoo. I just picked up, I think this is the Walmart brand, Be Queen maybe, baby shampoo. And I just scrub it up in my hand until the water runs clear. So I think the last thing I did, oh, was bike riding, bike riding. So after bike riding, we ate dinner, painting and like the potting stuff really took a big chunk out of the day. So we ate some dinner, had some air fried fried chicken and corn and french fries. It was really yummy. I'm super full, but I'm so happy because it was so yummy. But now I have to do some homework. So I have a discussion post, I think just one, to get done for one of my politics classes. Um, and then that's it. So I'm going to do my homework and then I'm going to FaceTime Robert, hop in the shower, and then get to doing my quiet time. read the word and then go to sleep um but before i do my quiet time i just wanted to leave you guys with something that i picked up during my quiet time yesterday that i thought was worth sharing with you guys um and so i'm reading through mark right now in the bible um and i'm like just kind of going through the gospel so i started in matthew finished matthew and i just moved into mark and yesterday i will actually know it was the day before yesterday. Day before yesterday I read this? I don't know when I read this, but I read this either yesterday or the day before yesterday, and I it, I read it the first time, and it didn't immediately stand out to me, because um, I was like, yeah, 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 I've heard this, I've heard this, and then it wasn't until I read like the little annotation at the bottom that prompted me to go back and read the whole thing again, and then I was like, wow, this is like really relevant right now. So I'm going to read to you Mark 4, 35 through um, all the way into the end of Mark 4. So on the same day, when evening had come, he said to them, let us cross over to the other side. Now, when they had left the multitude, they took him along in the boat as he was. And other little boats were also with him. And a great windstorm arose and the waves beat into the boat so that it was already filling. But he was in the stern asleep on a pillow. And they awoke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. But he said to them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said to one another, Who can this be that even the wind and the sea obey him? And so I feel like we've all heard this a million times, you know, like, Oh, Jesus was asleep, and he said, peace be still, blah, 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 and, like, the waters were still, the wind was still, um, and this is a powerful story, and it shouldn't be read with, like, the blah, 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 but I feel like sometimes we hear a story so many times that we almost forget that there is so much that we can pick up from it, and the specific thing that I looked over that I, that struck me was when they say, teacher, do you not care that we are perishing, and I feel like 
that speaks to me so much for right now where we are in the world like so many people are dying so many people are sick so many people are afflicted and hurting and fearful and it's easy to think like god like do you not care that your people are dying like do you not care that people are dying and sick and hurting like where are you and it's not that and they said this too, like, teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? And then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, peace be still. And I feel like, I almost feel like we can think, teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? But we as Christians need to be praying for the world and awaking him and bringing it to him and being like, hey, look what's happening. Like, I need you to do something and like the Bible says when two or more gather and um, pray in his name like it will be done and they awoke him and said to him you know they awoke him they prayed to him you know like they talked to him and they said teacher do not care that we are perishing and I feel like we need to stop harnessing our feelings and thinking things like this and bring them to his feet and be like hey people are dying people are sick like we need you to intervene like we need you to rebuke the wind we need you to rebuke this virus and say peace be still so that the winds can cease this virus can cease the curve can flatten and things like that and so i feel like that just really spoke to me um and then when he, but he said to them, why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And that's another thing that I feel like spoke to me. And um, you shouldn't be ashamed to be fearful right now because things are scary. But you should also remember when you feel fear, remember just how big your God is and how he says, why are you fearful? Because he has the power to stop it. And so when you feel fear, you, you should come to him. You need to come to him. And I'm not just speaking to you. I'm like speaking to myself. I'm like sharing this with you because it spoke to me. Um, and so I just felt like there was a lot in this little passage right here that we just read over and over again that is just so relevant to right now and how important prayer is in bringing our situations and our feelings and our fears to his feet um, and all of us together praying for our world um, because they awoke him. They asked him, teacher, do not care that we are perishing. That's something that we are feeling and thinking, but we need to say that to him and awake him and um, invite him to move in this situation so that he can rebuke the wind and say peace be still to our world. So probably rambled about that, but I just felt like that was really worth sharing um, because that's just so relevant to right now and you can pick apart that one little passage so much and get so much out of it so i just wanted to share that with you guys before i went to further um bible study because literally i had read this and i was like oh my gosh i have to share this with them <laughs> when i um do this vlog because i planned this for a little while so yes <laughs> with that being said um i'm gonna go to bed well i'm not gonna go to bed now i'm gonna do my quiet time now so i'm gonna talk to lord and um read through right now i am at mark 7 so i'm going to read through a little bit and it actually turns out like i was asking robert about his quiet time and then it turns out he's like on the exact same section and we weren't even planning to be reading through mark together so i thought that was pretty cool but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and do my bible time but this has been a wonderful day to share with you guys so thank you for joining me on my day today as we did some fun little things but yeah if you guys enjoy little vlogs like this let me know because i would love to make them i feel like today was such a fun day and if i if i have an excuse to have more fun days then i'm totally gonna take it but yeah thank you guys so much i hope you're doing well out there and making the most and finding the light in um this little season that we're in hoping that it is a little season and that we get through it very quickly and praying for that um and also i just like i shared that on my instagram story if you guys want to go check it out it's in my um celebrate story um what is that called highlight highlight wow i i work in social media i'm it's, i'm just tired <laughs> um in my instagram highlight it's in the celebrate highlight um those responses that i got from that instagram story but also i would love to know from you um what areas that you're finding light in the season what areas that you are finding joy and just what silver linings you're seeing out of the situation i would love for you to comment that in the comments below because i would love to keep reading those little praises of what god is doing in your life and just how you're seeing him move um and being a light in the darkness so yeah thank you guys so much for watching love you all and i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you very very soon Bye bye.